Hi, if you have psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, I'm sure that you're going through a lot. You have been called so many things such as, oh, stop the drama, it's all in your head. All of this you're, going, you're doing to just to get attention. Uh, nothing is wrong with you. Why you keep doing this? Can you just stop? And all of that. And this will change today. In this series, I'll be explaining in depth all the details and the new scientific breakthroughs that has proven that psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and PNES is a real condition. And there are real brain changes that happens. So we have better treatment and better understanding. So buckle your silt belt. There is a lot of new information that are coming uh, towards you. And also we had the privilege to interview one of the world experts on psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and functional neurological disorder, Dr. Kurt LaFrance, who I met in the last uh, neurology conference. So what is psychogenic non-epileptic seizures? So let's first start with the name. Psychogenic non-epileptic seizure is the most common name and it has been uh, going there for a long time and for sure we do not now call it pseudo seizures because pseudo means it is false and it is implying that there is a false uh, not a, a thing to uh, the seizures and it is not true name. I mean pseudo cyst can be in the abdomen but pseudo seizure is not a correct name so we stopped calling them pseudo seizures and there are many other names and it it can be difficult to come up with the right name for non-epileptic seizures. And I am with my other colleagues on an international committee to pick up the right name. And those are like many different names that can be called. So they go by a number of different names. Uh, one of the classic terms is psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, as you've said. They're also described as functional seizures because they're classified as a functional neurological disorder. They're also classified as conversion disorder seizures because they're classified as a conversion disorder also. They go by a number of names. So let me know in the comments which is the best name that you would like to be called or fits the diagnosis better. Psychogenic non seizure is an involuntary response to an external or internal conflict. So PNES is an involuntary or experiential and behavioral changes due to an external or internal trigger. Psychogenic non seizures are a neuropsychiatric disorder that present as paroxysmal time-limited alterations in behavior, motor, sensory symptoms with or without uh, alterations in level of consciousness that look like epileptic seizures, but they don't have abnormal brain cell firing associated with them. And let's have a word about the relationship between psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and functional neurological disorders. So we think that functional neurological disorder is the big umbrella that contains all the abnormal uh, uh, neurological disorders that are uh, functionally in nature, such as psychogenic non-epileptic seizure, it is one of them, conversion disorder is one of them, functional movement disorders is one of them, and many other uh, Condition. So FND, functional neurological disorder, is the umbrella and psychogenic non-epileptic seizure is one of those many diagnoses. Psychogenic non-epileptic seizure is a common diagnosis and about 30% of the people who visit us in the epilepsy center after uh, having seizures that are uncontrolled and they're thinking they have refractory epilepsy, they turn out to be psychogenic non-epileptic seizure. And it is interesting to know that about 10% of people with epilepsy, they can have also psychogenic non-epileptic seizures combined with the epilepsy and they have both diagnoses together. And now we have a positive diagnosis of psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. It's not anymore like your doctor will come into your room, say, good news, you have no epilepsy. And you're like, <laughs> it is like, instead of saying, what is your name? My name is not John. So tell me what is your name to give me something positive. So now instead of saying that you do not have epilepsy, we will tell you that you do have psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and we'll go over the mechanism and all of the brain changes in this series. And the best way to convey the diagnosis of psychogenic non-epileptic seizures is that 
you first uh, make the diagnosis by doing video EEG and confirm that whatever they have at home is what we recorded and we are confident about the diagnosis and then we deliver the diagnosis and explain the mechanisms of the brain, what happens, and that can give lots of confidence in the diagnosis and uh, for the treatment as a consequence of that. And the way we make the diagnosis is to take a careful history and physical examination of the patient and then we do a video monitoring EEG. So EEG with video monitoring to record the brain waves and then record one of the events. And there are lots of differences and nuances between the epileptic seizures and psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. And the way we can make the diagnosis and confirm it without any doubt is explained in the next video here. And stay healthy and see you in the next one.